Alright guys, so I just wanted to make a video on some, uh, I have a lot of 1962's here. I also have some in a binder, but I think either these are duplicates or ones I just couldn't put in right now. And then also I have some vintage and some really cool uh, autographed and uh, jersey card stuff. So yeah, uh, let's start with the stuff on the right stack. Uh, we have a 964 Tops Gil Hodges. And, uh, it looks really good from the front. It's just the back has writing on it. You can see. Uh, unfortunately that is kind of sad. But, um, yeah, um, the card still is worth a few bucks. Uh, so yeah, that's a good card. Uh, we have a Jess Rookies Fleet Paulino, uh, rookie autograph. Uh, that's pretty cool. We also have a USA Baseball Champions Stars and Stripes numbered 126 out of 489. And this is an autograph of Adrian Marin. Marin. Focus. There we go. Sorry. Um, uh, pretty nice card. I like this one. Panini product. So it's pretty cool. Focus. There we go. Uh, also, some football, actually. Uh, we have a Press Pass Fanfare 2013 uh, Fanfare Autograph of Andre Ellington. So that's a pretty cool card. And the last autograph is Press Pass Game Day Gallery of DJ Swearinger. I believe is how you pronounce his name. Number 27 out of 110. It's a pretty cool autograph actually. Um, so yeah, this is also a really cool card. And this is something interesting, a Hank Blalock, uh, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, man, of Tex for the Texas Rangers, Bomb Squad, and this is a piece of his bat, game used bat, so that's pretty cool. Uh, who's it? this is a Topps card, so that's really cool. And then also a 2014 Tops Heritage uh, Clubhouse Collection Game Use Memorabilia of Dominic Brown. Oh no, I like this card. It's pretty cool. Um, pretty basic, but still cool to look at. And now I have uh, some 62 Tops. These are original. Um, all of them. We just have a few comments here. Again, they're ones that just didn't, that I didn't either put in my set yet or I can't remember exactly. Um, yeah. So, scrolling through these, I believe they're in a certain order. Uh, don't know most of these people. I obviously wasn't around during the time. But, I don't know, I like this des design of this year. And then we gradually get up into higher and higher numbered cards. Which, as you guys may know or will see, that the condition will gradually start to fall because the hard high numbers were harder to find. And let me just show you what the back of one of these cards looks like. what the back of the cards look like for 62 so yeah um, and then we have high numbers here um, I believe uh, kind of Jim Pendleton so that's my collection uh, part of my collection of 62's and some random other stuff so rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.